What's going on, family? My name is Sean, and today I want to speak to you about building greater faith. I will be reading from one of my favorite verses, Romans chapter number four, verses number 17 through 24. So if you can, get your Bibles out and scroll with me or flip with me to Romans chapter number four, starting at verse number 17. That is what the scriptures mean when God told him, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God had said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. And Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about a hundred years of age, he figured his body as good as dead. And so was Sarah's womb. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger. And in this, he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God was able to do whatever he promises. And because of Abraham's faith, God counted him as righteous. And when God counted him as righteous, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was recorded for our benefit too. According to us, that God also counts us as righteous if we believe in him, the one who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead. Three things that stuck out to me in this verse. One, we must have faith. Two, we must keep hoping. And three, we must be fully convinced. We must have faith. For some of you, that means placing your faith in Jesus. For others, that means having mustard seed faith. Exercise that mustard seed faith by taking one step at a time and keep hoping. Verse number 18 says, even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping. Abraham did not waver from God's word. Some of you are in a season where you just can't see how you're gonna get out of it. You feel like there's no reason for hope, like you just want to just give up. I want to encourage you to keep hoping. And you can keep hoping by being fully convinced. You gotta get fully convinced. Get fully convinced that God is who he says he is and that he will do what he said he would do. Being fully convinced means that your mind is made up. No matter what the circumstances look like, your mind is made up. Be fully convinced. No matter what the doctor says, what the bank account says, what your loved ones say, be fully convinced that God is gonna do what he said he was gonna do. During these 21 days of prayer and fasting, grow your faith by believing in Jesus, keep hoping and be fully convinced. Set aside time to pray to God, to listen to him and to ask for confirmation through his word. Write it down, stand firm on what he said and be fully convinced that he will do what he said he would do. Let's pray. God, thank you just for these 21 days of prayer and fasting. Thank you for an opportunity to focus on you and to get a word from you. I pray for those who have accepted you as their, their Lord and Savior. And I pray for those who have already accepted you, that you would just grow their faith, God. Give them the strength and the courage to be able to step forward, to take that leap of faith. Father, I pray that you just help them to keep hoping. And I pray that they stay fully convinced and get fully convinced on who you are and what you said that you would do. Help them to stand firm on your word. We thank you in Jesus' name, amen.